Alright, so we're playing. This is 10, 18, question 8. We have to draw a figure for, we're given three figures here. Each figure is made out of toothpicks or something. The question said, um, we have figure 1, figure 2, figure 3. And you can see figure 4 should look like something like this, right? Because each one is adding on four toothpicks onto the previous figure. Quick. So most people got that out, that's the easy part, the hard part really for this question, the challenging part of students is when you have to complete the table, this table. So let's examine the table first and we just run through it. Figure 1, 2, 3, 4, that isn't 5, eh? this could be any number, it depends on there, because there's a space in between here, in the question, and a space in between here, a space in between there. This column here is the number of toothpicks in the pattern, 3, 7, 11, and so on. And this is the perimeter. Well, this number on the outside here represents the perimeter. 3, 5, 7. So if I look here, yes, the perimeter is 3. This perimeter is 5 of this figure 2. And this perimeter is 7 there. So that's correct. So the perimeter lines up nicely. Um, but it's expressed in a weird way here. Let's see if you can figure it out. This, this number here, I think this number here stands for how many toothpicks on top of the pattern. So in the first set there are zero toothpicks on top, in the second set there are one toothpick on top. Um, one toothpick on top in the second set. And this number here stands for the toothpicks on the bottom and this number here stands for the toothpicks on the side, these two. So this will remain constant, right? Because there's always going to be two toothpicks on the side going on there. Alright, so you can check that. But you don't even need to know that to do the question, I'm just saying. Let's get into the question. Number of toothpicks in pattern, 3, 7, 11, there's a, this is separated by 4. Each time, so the next one for 4, it's going to be 15. 11 plus 4 is 15. That's the pattern there, right? Or, or the better way to do this is recognize connected to this number. It's multiply by 4, take away 1. 1 by 4, take away 1 is 3. 2 by 4 is 8, take away 1 is 7. 3 by 4, take away 1 is 11. And so on. And this number here, this is going to be, we continue the pattern. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, and this stays 2, so we can get that. Now this column here is the tricky part, because after some numbers has passed, what is this number? Well, you can see this number is always related to the number in the middle here, so this number should be 20, right? And since we know this number, we can find this number, because 20 times 4, take away 1, is 79. 20 by 4, take away 1, is 79, and that's what, how this, these two numbers are related. Let's move on. So, part 3, we have this, and this, we know these two numbers are related by a value of 4, take away 1. So, I, if, I divide, if I add back the 1 to this, and divide by 4, I should get this number. So, I add 127 plus 1 is 128, and divide that by 4, I will get 32. So, you should have gotten 32 there. And once you have this number, these numbers are easy to figure out because this number is the same and this number is 1 less and this number is always 2. So this question, you, you should have gotten these 2 marks. This is the part that troubles some people. Um, this is where you actually use the formula, the formula that you were using all along to get these columns. So n, what is the relationship here? It's 4 times n. Take away 1. 4 times 1 take away 1 is 3, 4 times 2 take, go ahead with that, so that is, is going to be 4n take away 1, great, and the perimeter, well n goes in the center, this is 1 less than n all the time, and the number on the outside is always going to be 2, so that is it, upside down, that is going to be like this, so n minus 1 plus n plus 2. Alright, so you want to do a lot of these questions to get some practice with it. They are always found in number 8 on the, in the past papers and most of them will follow this exact same pattern. This is probably the most repeated question in terms of the exact structure. So, have a go at it if you have any problems. 